Hey everyone, I'm back with a video that's kind of different to what I normally do because my genres are very set <laughs> with what I normally read. But today I decided that I should rank and review my one-year-old's favorite books. When she started liking books and actively wanting to participate in reading, it was difficult to decide what books to get and which ones she would like. So we just bought a ton of different books. And we have board books, we have books that are just, you know, paper books. She doesn't touch those yet because she tears them. But finding out her favorite board books was really interesting to me to see what she would like as opposed to what I thought she would like. So this video is basically ranking her seven favorite board books. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the main ranking for these books is going to be based off of how often my one-year-old asked to read them. Just to give a little context, all of her books with just pages, paper pages, are on a shelf and it looks like this. But then all of her board books are on a shelf with her toy chest and she can reach them all and pull them down and it looks like this. So the board books, she can easily choose which are her favorite and which ones she wants to read and which she very actively does this because she will pull every single book off the shelf, as one-year-olds do, and then she picks out which ones out of the pile of books that she just threw everywhere that she wants to bring to me for me to sit her in my lap and read to her. So number seven on this list, I actually bought this book just because I thought it was so cute on Amazon when I was looking for board books that I thought a baby would like. And so this one is called Kindness Makes Us Strong by Sophie Beer. And my daughter really likes this one, but I don't think she likes it necessarily for the story itself. And it's weird saying that about a one-year-old, but I think she likes it for the pictures. As you can see, the front of the book is very charming. It's very cute with all of its illustrations. And I think that that's what attracts her so much to this book. Now, don't get me wrong. The message behind this book is absolutely adorable. I think kindness makes everyone strong. That's the whole reason I bought it. But I think she likes it more for the pictures than for anything else. Any of the words, any of the meaning, anything. She just likes the pictures. Which, like I said, it sounds kind of weird saying it about a one-year-old. Because one-year-old only looks at the pictures anyway. I'm not sure how much she actually understands from what I'm reading. Number six on this list is simple first words. Let's talk. Now, if you have a child, you know that children like noises. I don't know why, but all of these little humans love things that make noises. <laughs> And it kind of drives me crazy sometimes, but it's okay. So one of the books that she actively likes to take down and make me read to her is this book. Now, this book doesn't really have any story to it. It just has words. It has words like apple, cat, dog, her favorite. And she really loves to participate when I'm reading to her. So not only does she get to flip the pages with this one, but when I say the word and I point to the picture, I'll let her hit the button for which picture the image is and it'll say the word again and I think this is really great because it's reinforcing her language skills and developing them even more so yeah this is a great one I like it number six on the list number five on the list is barnyard dance now this one I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce her last name but by Sandra Boynton I'm gonna say it like that <laughs> And I think I like this book more than she likes it, which might be why she brings it to me so much. But you get to use really silly voices with her book specifically, Sandra Boynton's books. And you get to be animated when you read it. And I think that that's what my daughter loves about reading this book, is that I'm very animated when I read it. So I get excited, so she gets excited. Now, her attention span for this one isn't as great as with the others. I don't know if it's because she doesn't like it, as much or if she just gets bored I'm not sure but she likes how animated I can be when reading this now she picks this one up probably a little more than the other two I had before this and that's how we're ranking them but it's still not her absolute favorite number four on the list I'm sure many of you were expecting one of these books and here it is the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So my daughter absolutely loves this book. As you can see, it's a little worn. The edges are um, gross 
So I like it because, you know, it's really cute with the caterpillar and how much the caterpillar eats and that the caterpillar eventually turns into a butterfly. I think that's great. I think my one-year-old's favorite thing about this book is that there are holes in the food that the caterpillar eats and she can stick her little fingers in the holes and she likes that but she also gets to flip the pages um i'm not sure if you can see but they have pages that are shorter than all of the rest and she really really likes that so it makes it easier for her to flip the pages so she gets to be more active when we're reading this book and I think that she really enjoys that but I also think she likes all of the colors and <laughs> all the funny noises I make when I'm talking about how much this little caterpillar is actually eating kind of reminds me of my one-year-old to be honest number three good night moon this book is so cute and I really I really like reading this to my daughter because I can be soft-spoken when I read it and I can be very calming and it's a great book to read at night. Obviously the title kind of gives that away but I really like reading this and she will sit in my lap and she is just calm as can be when I'm reading it and I don't know if it's because of the, my, how my voice changes when I read this book but she really enjoys it. I really enjoy how when you're reading this book the pictures change from full color and then you get a couple of pages with monochrome or black and white. I think that that's really great and it's less stimulating so it's really good to read at night. And as that this is three on the list, she does pick this one up a lot and ask me to read it a lot, even if it's not nighttime. Number two on this list, I don't actually have my copy with me right now because my daughter is with her grandparents and she brought the book with her. But number two on this list is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See by Eric Carl and Bill Martin Jr. So this book has been her favorite for the longest time, probably since she started actually picking up books. So she absolutely loves this book. She likes that you see all of the animals and I really like that you get to differentiate between every single color that... The book mentions as well as the animals so we like to point to the animals and their colors so when you get to the end in the last page when it has all of the animals and all of the colors on one page we get to point to each one and say which one it is again and I think that that's really great for her to recognize the different colors and the different animals but what she likes about this book is probably that there's a dog in it and that you get to see so many colors it's also very short in its, sen in its sentences so she doesn't get bored enough to where she's just flipping 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 like trying to get me to flip the page like I said she doesn't have a very long attention span and as a one-year-old short is better but this book just lost its number one spot a couple of weeks ago and that brings me to number one on this list Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell my daughter loves this book when I first read this book, I was like, Ooh, this is kind of simple. I don't know if I actually like this. This, is, this isn't this is one of the best kids books that I've ever read. But the reason it's number one is because my daughter will not stop reading it. I've probably read this a thousand times. I'm not going to lie. She comes and this is the first book that she will pull out of the pile after she's, you know, destroyed her toy room. This is the first one that she will pull out of that pile for me to read. And then, and then she'll go to the other ones that she likes. But we'll read this at least two or three times before that happens. <laughs> and I didn't even know this book existed. Apparently it's really popular. I didn't even know this book existed until my mom bought it for my daughter. And it's very simple in its wording. It's very quick. It's very easy. And I think that that's why I can read it three times without her getting bored. But the main thing that she likes about this book is that you flip pages and there are little flaps. Lift lift the flaps. It's called a lift the flap book. There are little flaps that she can lift and she gets to see the animals. She loves that. She absolutely loves that. She wants to flip to see the lion. She wants to flip to see the camel. She wants to flip to see the naughty monkey. She really loves this book. And her favorite part, of course, is when you get to the end and you lift it and you see, oh my goodness, the doggy! Yay! <laughs> she loves the little doggy. So this, this is definitely her number one favorite. I wouldn't say it's my number one favorite, but like I said, we're ranking based off of my daughter's views on the books, not mine because Barnyard Dance would be a lot higher. <laughs> but she loves Dear Zoo. She loves lifting the flaps and seeing all the different animals. My only critique with this book is that I really wish it had it printed on the page what each animal was. And that's not because I don't know what each animal is in this book, 
because obviously I know it's an elephant when I see an elephant, but I wish that you could see that word or you would have that word printed so the child could see the word when you're reading the word. That's, that is my only critique for this book. But otherwise, this is her favorite. Number one, absolute favorite port book for my one-year-old. And if you haven't bought this book, I'm, I assure you, your child will love it if they are a one-year-old. All right. So that is my ranking and review of my one-year-old's favorite board books. There are seven of them in total that we read consistently more than one time. <laughs> and these are her absolute favorites. I rank them based off of how many times she wants to actually read them. So the number one spot is her number one, not mine. And I mentioned a couple of things that I liked, disliked about the books, but that's, that's just my personal opinion. These are all books that she adores. These are books that I'm sure any one-year-old would adore. And I just really enjoy them. I enjoy reading them to her, even if we have to read them more than once. <laughs> because they keep her attention and she gets to learn while we read. But let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. I know it's a little different from what I normally do, but I really enjoy reading books to my daughter. And I hope that she develops a love of reading as much as I have when she gets bigger. And I think that this is how we start with all of her favorite board books. <laughs> let me know if you have any books that are your one-year-old's favorites that I should buy for my one-year-old. Anyway, I'll see y'all later.